Hallo ihr Rabauken and welcome to this tutorial. So in this video we'll take a look at the white balance tool within Capture One Pro. The tool is located in the exposure tab or in the color tab of Capture One Pro. In case you cannot find it, simply go to this empty space, right click, go to add tool and add the white balance tool. As always within Capture One Pro, if you want to find out what the tool is capable of, go to this menu and open it. If there's nothing else but the positioning entries within this menu, then everything that's presented by the tool is are also the only things you can basically change. So this means in this case, it's the auto adjust, it's this mode entry, it's the picker, the temperature and the tint. So these are the only values you can change. So we've got three options to set the white balance within Capture One Pro. So one would be auto adjust, where Capture One Pro is trying to best guess the white balance. So we can simply try it. And in this case, it's not working very well, as you can see. So that's the before and the after. So the changes are really only very small. Sometimes it's working out good, sometimes it's not working out good. Um, then you can also play around with the modes. So like in this case, um, you can choose the daylight white fluorescent, which is very close to flesh. And you will see it's a little bit bluish. So the preset is very, very cold. So um, and then the same at the same time, you can also uh, manipulate the sliders to a value where you actually like it. So that's the, the manual option you would have. And then the third option is to use the picker. When using the color picker, you need a white or a true white or a true gray where you can pick the color from. So which means then that at this point, the R, G and B values are the same when the white balance is correct. Or the other way around, the white balance is corrected in a way that afterwards the RGB values are equal. So in this case, we haven't got a really white area we can go to or refer to. So the backdrop is overexposed, which, which means that it's not showing the actual white of the paper I used. It's a mixture between overexposure plus the white, so I can't refer to this area. So in this case, a good idea would be to go with the eyeballs and pick the white balance from these. And as you can see, like if I pull over the before and after, it's actually done a pretty good job. So now I will show you uh, another option, so with, which would be to work with a gray card. So I will go to this image I took with a gray card. So and if you take a look at this RGB value area over here, when I'm over the gray card, so you can actually see that blue is pretty low, green is somewhere in the middle and red is very uh, prominent. And now if I click onto this gray card, the color uh, the white balance would be calculated and afterwards these values should be level like all the same. So as you can see over here it's 85, 86, 87 so they are pretty close now and the white balance has been picked. And um, now I will copy the white balance and we'll go back to the the other image and I will apply the white balance. So and now I will switch between Oh, no, let's put them next to each other. So what you can see over here. So this is the image where we took the white balance from the eyeball. This is the image where we uh, used the, the white balance that we picked from the gray card. And that's before and after. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks you guys for watching. If you liked it, I would be happy for a thumbs up and a subscription. And always remember to listen to more heavy metal.